care of the children, and he spent it on himself, when naturally many of the children died of starvation. And he would cut up their little bodies and make them into meat pies. No, I made that part up. This was even worse. Even worse. He would bury their bodies in the ground where you are standing now. <laughs> but the winter of York could be extremely cold, and the ground out here would often freeze hard. So, unable to bury the children, instead, he would carry them down to his basement, and he would lock them in a cup, for them to rot, for them to decay until the spring. One night, he carried the body of a small boy down to the basement, and he placed him in the cup. But this boy was not dead. He was merely exhausted through lack of nourishment. And he woke up, and he found himself in this pit black covered, surrounded by all the bones and the rotting flesh of his former friend. Now, I would like you all to try and imagine how he must have felt. Everybody, close your eyes. Do it now. Close your eyes and try and imagine that you are in that pit black color. There is a smell of rotting flesh. Black start to crawl up your throat. Uh, and in your ears, they try to force their way between your lips. And very gradually, in the darkness, you start to stretch out your hands and your arms. Do it now. Stretch out your hands. And your arms <laughs> and feel all the rotting bodies oh. around you. <laughs> Come on, sir, you paid your money, now you're going to enjoy yourself. Okay. Oh, stop, stop, me. stop that now. I should stop that now. <laughs> <laughs> now I might joke about this, but it must have been horrendous for the small boy. And naturally, he screamed. And he screamed so loud that he woke up all the other children in the school that night. They were petrified. They didn't know what to do. But that night, they made a very big mistake. They went and woke up the headmaster. And this man, because of all the guilt on his mind, that night, this man went completely mad. And he went around with a knife. <gasps> and he stabbed. <laughs> Every last child in his care. He was found next day down in the basement, staring up at the cupboard. Thankfully, he was taken away and hanged. Good, 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 Alex. But from that day to this day, the people who live in these houses now often hear the scream of small children in pain, especially at eight.